I live in a forest, I work in the forest, I've grown up in forests, and to me this is my whole world. And to see so many trees that I love dying is very disturbing. There's no precedence for this in modern times. The Rocky Mountains rise as the backbone of America, stretching from New Mexico to Montana and beyond. Today, this iconic landscape is changing in ways so profound it will transform the region for generations to come. The forests are currently dying at a rate that we have not observed in at least 500 years. Vast expanses of trees, once green and lush with life, now rise as brown and gray stands of skeletal snags. In the last 15 years in the U.S. alone, an area of forest larger than Colorado has perished. Spring's coming earlier, and that means we're losing our snow faster. Summer's hotter. Warmer temperatures are allowing bark beetle populations to build and not only that, survive much better. And at the same time, is stressing trees, which allows the beetles to kill the trees more easily. Once they get started, they can kill millions of acres of trees, and that's exactly what they've done. Through our research, we know that climate change is having a big impact. Without a major shift in climate, none of this could happen. From the white bark pines of the Northern Rockies to the quaking aspens of Colorado, to the pinyon pines of New Mexico, trees throughout the range are in dramatic decline. And those same hot, dry conditions set the stage for another rising threat, wildfires. The average number of large wildfires each year is growing rapidly, and the wildfire season lasts more than two months longer than it used to. The fires have been so big, so much larger than any we have know of in the history of this landscape that they've completely transformed the landscape from forest to shrublands. The pinyon forests are already experiencing a wipeout that we think is unprecedented. And the future doesn't look bright. Can we make a change? Absolutely. But we're going to have to make changes very soon. We're going to have to make them immediately. We have to reduce our emissions and we have to make real shifts to clean energy. Our choices and actions today will determine the fate of our mountains and forest. Decide the future that our children and grandchildren will inherit. The fate of these forests is up to us.